Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Munich Airport. I used to do videos about how the airport looks in the pandemic. And uh, yeah, the pandemic is still going on, but the numbers are significantly better the last weeks. So, slowly but surely, the airport is coming back to life. More people, more flights, more action going on here. More fun for me at work, as you might have seen that. That's where I work. I already showed you my view from the office from up there on a very nice day. The video is really good. Check it out. But today we will have a look how it is developing inside the terminal. So we'll go in and have a look at the departure board and then see which shops are reopened, what else is going on. Have fun. So this is our departure board for today. It's now yeah, 8 o'clock in the morning, 10 past 8. This looks quite nice. I remember times when I went to the late shift and there were 10 departures for the remainder of the day. Now, if I have a look at the sport, let's have a look closer. Here we go. You can see the times and where we're all going. Continuing. Sometimes it's not that bad to work the early shift, although I normally don't like getting up that early. But in times like this, it's okay when most of the traffic is in the early shift. You can see after. Uh, three o'clock, yeah, from three o'clock to four o'clock, there's only one departure. But there's one and a half pages between uh, four and six o'clock, and look what's going on in the morning. <laughs> there are some things I really like. Coming to work and not working is not one of the things. So let's have a little walk around the airport. People waiting for check-in. This is the wheeling flight to Barcelona. Wheeling is a Spanish low-cost carrier. Not that many people around here now, but it's definitely better than it has been some weeks ago. And here in the central area this is the surf and turf, foods and drinks. If you want to have a coffee, right now, this is the best place. People going to the Edeka and to the bakery. Edeka is the supermarket, of course. The FC Bayern fan shop is fully reopened. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's still a limit of how many people can be inside, but this used to be when the numbers were worse, the corona numbers, that you have to have an uh, online appointment or you cannot go in. This has changed. Over there, Terminal 2, where right now 
all flights arrive and depart from. Terminal 2 is the new terminal, the more modern one. It was opened back in 2003. The satellite concourse, which is, yeah, as the name says, a satellite on the apron, was opened in 2016, 17. <laughs> Sorry, don't remember. Nice place to be and nice place to fly from. Let's see what else is now open in Terminal 2. If you come here, kindly stick to the Corona restrictions. We all appreciate. And cannot go airside now. But we will have a look here at the public side. So there's also check-in going here for Blue Air, for Lübeck Air on this side. And now we're approaching the only exit from air side to public side. So if you arrive in Munich, you will exit here. Shops on this side are still closed. There's a pharmacy and the Käfer, that's a restaurant. Maybe they will open during the day. Pickups are already waiting. And this is the exit right now. Right next to the exit. Starbucks coffee, open for takeaway only, but at least it's open. The bakery and the Edeka supermarket here on the left side are still closed. Let's see when this will change. Electronic shop here. Yeah, not at this time, but it will be open. What else do we have here? Nap caps. So if you have a longer layover here and can exit the airside, not everybody can do that because of Corona restrictions and, uh, of course, visa restrictions. Then you can go here and have a nap. And here at the far north end of the lower level of Terminal 2. Subway is open as well. I think this is the first time I see this place open till the pandemic started. So here, the northern exit of Terminal 2. Taxis are waiting. There's the Airport Express bus, which will go to downtown. Curbside parking, of course. More taxis waiting in line. And here also is the uh, bus stop, which will... where the buses stop that go to Rising. Yeah, this airport is definitely coming back to life. And that's so good to see. That's really very good to see. Not completely, but progress is visible. So I now will take the secret way back to the main plaza. This is the plaza. 
as mentioned in uh, my previous airport videos, before the pandemic hit, there was always something going on here. They had a tennis court built up here, basketball court built up here, a surfing wave, Christmas market, of course, every year. Smoky Joe's, they're doing uh, sausages with hot sauce and fries. It's very good. Unfortunately, they are not open now, but the Erbreu, which is a restaurant brewery, they're brewing here beer, their beer here on the airport. Their beer garden is reopened. This is definitely good news for everyone who arrives early at the airport or has a longer layover and is allowed to exit the air site. Of course now it's 8.30 in the morning so now they're not open but at noon they will be open. Of course for check-in as they do it nowadays. They have to scan QR code to check in. Of course, uh, you will be seated in one of the three tables with enough distance to the other tables. But they have a full menu, they have beer. This is definitely a nice place to spend some time. So that's it for this one. Munich Airport coming back to life. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon back in Munich or at the airport. Goodbye. Okay,